Hello, McBride students. How you doing today? It's great to see you. I am here working on my balance a little bit. This is my training tool for trying out this here pogo stick. That's right, guys. Pogo stick is a really neat uh, piece of equipment that you can try to balance and balance at the same time. And this little tool here is hopefully going to make me better once I get onto that pogo stick. So we're going to slide that over and we are going to give the pogo stick a try. I know what you're thinking. It doesn't look safe. And I can't guarantee that it is, okay? But I am going to uh, be safe about it. And I'm going to try my best to bounce up and down and balance on this incredibly outstanding pogo stick, okay? So <clears throat> I've got a rug here so that I <clears throat> don't slide on the uh, smoother floor, okay? And uh, I can't guarantee how this is going to go, guys. Uh, I'm going to try to bounce. I'm going to try to bounce as many times as possible without going to my feet, okay? And uh, we'll just see what happens, okay? Could be funny, could be fun. I'm not sure. Here we go. Ready? And we're off. Pogo stick. Uh, I do recommend if you have one of these, please take safety precautions. Probably wear a helmet. All right, guys, getting on to some basketball here. Let's have a great day. What's big and green and bounces up and down? A monster on a pogo stick. All right, a quick warm up here today, guys. Here we go, jumping jack. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and squats. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice and done. Let's do some push ups. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Good job, and some sit ups. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, guys. All right, guys, welcome back to some more basketball here today, okay? Let's start uh, with whatever ball you have. Might not be a basketball, could be a soccer ball, could be any kind of ball uh, that you have around. Of course, if you have a basketball, that would be the one to grab, all right? Let's start by going around the waist here. All right, a little more challenging. Uh, if you have a larger ball and you're younger, okay, it's harder for your arms to reach around. And let's switch directions, go back the other way. Good job. And let's do a little just back and forth toss between the hands. Get comfortable with that ball. Nice job. Kind of squeeze it with your fingers if you can. Have it kind of land and squeeze those fingers, squeeze that ball out, get those fingers ready. Good job. A couple two handed bounces. And 
had some right handed dribbles. And some left handed dribbles. Crossover. Good. And some form shooting. Again, all this is just kind of a warm up to get us going today. And remember, our shooting hand is in the center of the ball, guide hand on the side. Put that ball near your hip, bend those knees, keep that elbow in tight, and shoot it up, leave the loose neck. Reach into that cookie jar. Good. Good job. All right, good job guys. Let's get started on our first main drill of the day. All right guys, the first drill we're gonna do here uh, is some dribbling on the move. We're gonna set up a square. It doesn't have to be a large square, so wherever you are at, you can use anything to form that square. Uh, a, a water bottle, a shoe, okay? Any object, uh, and you're gonna set it up in a square formation, okay? Very simple, okay? We're gonna put that ball in our uh, right hand first, okay? Come to uh, this corner of the square, and I'm going to come here, and I'm just going to dribble around that square, right? Just like so. Good job. Now switch to your left hand and let's change directions. Let's go the other way around the square. Here we go. done guys good square dribble in there okay uh, this time we are going to change our square into a little zigzag drill we're going to put those four objects those same four objects in a nice straight line with about one large step in between them, just like so, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I am going to zigzag my body through these cones, okay? Got the ball in my right hand. A great way to do this one, you don't have to, but as you come around the right side, have it in your right hand, you go back to the left side, put it in your left hand. So in front of the cone, you are crossing over like we practiced, okay? Give you one more look at it. Right, so left. Good, good. 
Good job, guys. Now on to this. We are going to take those four cones again, four objects, whatever it is you're using. We're going to put them in a very quite small square, okay? Just like so. You guys can see that that is about it's about uh, three feet across or so, okay? So every side there. And this is going to be our landing spot for our basketball, our target for when we shoot. Okay, so I'm going to back up. I'm going to start by going back about five big steps. Two, three, four, five. Okay, and now this is going to be my basketball hoop. Okay, now if you have a real basketball hoop and you're able to go use that, that is a great option for you. Okay, uh, but if you're uh, if you don't, okay, many of us don't, and you're inside, or even if you're still doing outside, you just need to create yourself that target um, for landing the basketball. And the important thing to remember, guys, is that our uh, our shot okay, needs to always be arching, needs to go nice and high, and come back um, to to the ground to our landing spot. Okay, but even though our our target is down here on the floor, we want an arching shot before it would hit that target, okay? So, um, we don't want to throw the ball low and, and hit the target there. It would be a lot easier, okay? And uh, we wouldn't be getting the benefits of, of uh, shooting properly, okay? So here we are, and I'm in that form again. Ball near the hip, hands in a good position, bend the knees, and I'm gonna shoot. Saw that basketball landed pretty much on my target, okay? But it still went nice and high before it did, so it began. You might have to adjust your distance of your shot if you're coming up really short or you're shooting too far, okay? I'm at about 10 feet here, and it's a good distance for that ball to land about at the Hit your objects, that means you're close to where you want to be. Good job with those drills, guys. Hang on one moment, and we will finish up. All right, guys, nice job. Um, 
Some other things that we can do. You, uh, if you have access to a basketball hoop, okay, you can just go out and shoot, get some shots up. The best thing that you can do to become a better shooter is to um, just practice. Okay, so uh, you can take some time to do that. You can go out, you can dribble in the driveway, in the garage, um, dribble in the house, work on uh, any of the dribbling drills that we've done. Okay, those are all great options for you. Okay, uh, the weather has uh, still been pretty nice, so. Uh, getting outside and doing some some dribbling and some basketball would be an excellent option for you. I'm going to put up that five minute timer. Let's devote five more minutes to basketball today. And uh, great job and keep working hard.
Hey guys, thank you for joining me today. Keep having fun with the basketball, keep working on it. Whether you're ever gonna play on a basketball team or not, it's a great skill to know and a great way to exercise and a great way to have fun. Keep up the good work.